morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. It's a beautiful day in the neighbor. Good morning. Hello. Hello. It's a beautiful morning. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. It's a beautiful day. Time to get busy. Come on, people. Let's get moving. Good morning, old mucker. <laughs> oh, dear me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, no, did it. Oh. oh, my cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that didn't hurt. <laughs> my cat just had to say good morning. He was giving you his cheek. Uh, tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What's tomorrow? What's tomorrow's? Tomorrow's is... Uh, my, 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 my. Oh, now that is going to be fun, isn't it, tomorrow? <laughs> are you going to go, are you going to take the camera with you and take us with you? Oh my God, are we coming along for the journey? <laughs> we'll have a word with your doctor for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll help you along there, dear. <clears throat> Oh, God, I have my cup of tea. So, how was this morning? Snowed under with the junk mails as usual? Were your clients good? Oh, boy, mucker. Do you know anything about these um, terabyte slim drives? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, old mucker. But you know what? You enjoy it. You might have... Not so good work right now, and not so, you know, under general populace. I might have not be having uh, such a good time in in some areas of the of the of the job, but you you enjoy it really. Um, all of a sudden, my uh, my laptop is not recognizing the fact that my terabyte hard drive is hooked up to it. Yes, I'll show you. It's a Seagate and I've I've uninstalled and reinstalled the drivers. This is it. Yes, unfortunately, YouTube will do that because you're the only person commenting right now. So it looks like you're spamming. I don't know why they limit somebody just to a certain amount of, of, um, of comments per minute or whatever. Um, this isn't broken. It's just that my laptop all of a sudden is not recognizing... The fact that it's connected, when it's connected, it doesn't recognize the fact that it's connected. Um, I've gone into Device Manager and it tells me to connect it. Good morning, Denise. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Denise is on the ball this morning. Good morning, honey. <clears throat> Yes, it should be just plug and play, old mucker, but it's, uh, yeah, I can plug it in and my laptop will go, but it doesn't pop up. I can't find it in anything. Yep, I plug it in while the laptop is on. I've tried plugging it in and, and, and letting the, you know, rebooting the laptop. Um, I've, I've reloaded, uninstalled and reloaded the driver several times and it's, I'm, I'm rather upset because it's got all my videos. 
and photos stuck on it. So, please don't tell me that, old oh, mucker. I mean, it's only a year old. And I, I've only been using it for the past few months. If that. I mean, how do I get my stuff off it? <laughs> Yours is 18 months. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. And I'm, I've, I've literally five gigabytes, uh, yeah, five gigabytes left on my, on my hard drive, on my laptop. You've got 20 years worth of stuff on yours. Oh, gosh. So what do we do with these things? This is crazy. This is crazy. I mean, they, 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 they tell you to get these external drives and what have you. I mean, now this is the third drive I have. Well, I've got two hard drives that have got stuff stuck on them that I need to get off. Now, at least those hard drives are still good. It's just the unit that's not working. Laura, good morning, honey. I was a bad girl. I didn't connect with you yesterday. We have to do it this afternoon. Call me this afternoon, Laura, please. I got, got busy and I ran out of time, I fell asleep and oh, it's just, oh, so much. Um, yes, doing good, doing good. Um, Denise, we are doing, well, I am trying to edit a video <laughs> and it's not working too well. <laughs> I keep falling asleep. It's like you're not supposed to fall asleep while you're editing a video, Joan. <laughs> your computer finds yours, but it still does not work. Oh, no. yeah, it's interesting, homework. Yes, the quality these days is not so good, but yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm standing up, I'm sitting down, I'm stand, editing this video. It's, uh, I tried to make some, um, my hubby likes plantains. Well, we all like plantains. Um, and what he's been doing is buying bags of plantain chips. But they're, they're, it's been like two, 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 Two two dollars and fifty cents, or between two dollars and fifty cents and three ninety nine. They're just really expensive. Ah, uh, that could be a problem. Um, we can. Um, we can. Um. We can try and, because I'm not going through, um, I'm just going through um, YouTube and I don't know how to connect with anybody else through YouTube. Um, oh, Laura, honey, I hope you get better soon. This is enough, girl. You need some elderberry, um, an elderberry juice or elderberry tincture. Um, yeah, that's if you're using Google Hangouts. Um, I'm not going through Google Hangouts. I'm going just straight through YouTube. Um, but we can connect at some point this afternoon, um, through, um, Google if you, if you want, old mucker. <clears throat> and we can talk that way or through um through uh Facebook if you want. And we can talk that way. Um elderberry juice, it's it's just literally made from fresh elderberries. Um the elderberry tincture it, it has a, a little little bit of alcohol in it because that's how you make the tincture. 
Um, and you just use a couple of drops underneath, you know, on your tongue or underneath your tongue um, of the tincture. And the elderberry juice, um, you can dilute that down into a cordial. <clears throat> Okay, old mucker, thank you so much, honey. Thank you. Because I've wasted so much time on this. I'm getting nothing else done. Um, The elderberry juice, you could find that in um the health food store. I'm not sure if Walmart carries it, honey. But if you have a health food store near you, they should have it. Um, it shouldn't be pricey, no. Do you have do you, have you been getting it? Do do you have, do you get a Did you have your pneumonia injections this, this this winter? I mean, I know it doesn't cover all pneumonias, but it does help. I mean, all types of pneumonia, but it does help. As as my as my um. As my pulmonologist said, it, it, um, it's a vaccination for the pneumonia that kills you. Whereas I think it all can actually, if you depending on your, your health status and all that kind of stuff. But good morning, there's four people out there. Good morning. And I'm going to say good morning to those that are on the outskirts and outside looking in. Come in and join us. We have a fun morning. Denise, how are you doing this morning, honey? Ah, uh -huh. uh, that was five years ago. Maybe you want to try again, honey? Um, because they have changed it. I don't know. It's up to you, sweetie. But, I mean, I touch wood. I've only had pneumonia once in the past two, three years. Two and a half years, three years now. Which, for me, is, is, a, is you know, it, it's, um, yes, it's, it's, it's amazing. The sun is coming up. Daylight is breaking. Daylight, daylight is breaking having a hard time talking this morning I want to say good morning Quincy I know you're out there somewhere twin flame good morning it is so good to see you it is a beautiful day well it's it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day um, You had one, the most recent one was three years ago. Ah, uh, you might need to go again, honey, and have another one. And you've had it five times in, in ten years. Okay. Hmm. It's, what day is it? It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Yes. <laughs> Well, we're halfway there. We're accomplished a lot this week. Yes, talk to your doctor, Laura. Ask him to check your notes and see if it's the same um, type that you had three years ago. Let's see if it's changed any since then. I know it's changed, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure when it changed. My, my brain's a little bit funky when it comes to time. It's actually quite a lot funky when it comes to time. It's a kind of lost time. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that is so wonderful, Twin Flame. What have you got to be grateful for today? We've all got lots to be grateful. Good morning, Shadow. Good morning, honey. How are you? It's a beautiful morning. I started a couple of minutes late. I was a bit late getting stuff. I was trying to edit videos. Good morning, Paper. Hello, honey. It's so good to see you. Good morning. Yes, I've been trying to edit a video that I, I did last night. And I keep falling asleep. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm just so glad that uh, when you edit a video, it doesn't actually alter the original one. Because I might have to go back and start from the beginning. I'm not sure if I deleted the wrong bit. Uh, that would be one big blooper of a video, wouldn't it? Oh, sorry. They're all the bits that I meant to delete. <laughs> that wasn't the video I meant to make. <sighs> ah, dear me. For your family, for having a roof over your head and food. Yeah, on your table. They are just the most perfect things to be thankful for. We are so lucky to have some of those, you know, those things. We really are. I'm doing well this morning, Shadow Honey. Thank you. Um, a little bit chilly, but that's okay. Because I can get warmed up right now. Cup of tea. Talking to my wonderful friends. Beautiful souls that are shining away. It's just a wonderful day. It's a good, good, good day. And we'll be starting our stretching exercises shortly. That is so true, Twin Flame. That is so true. Um, you know, I've, I've been in contact with um, a young lady, Amanda. Um, she had, uh, somebody did a, a video on her. Um, this person actually, um, let me see if I can find them. This person actually does videos with the homeless. And, um, there was one video that I watched and, oh my, it broke my, oh, it broke my heart. I mean, I, I feel for everybody that's, you know, home, but... I don't, there was just something about Manda, um, her story, her, 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 at, I mean, she's just an absolutely wonderful girl, and I have had the privilege to actually speak with her over the phone. Kay, 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 good morning, and It's amazing the outlook she has on life. So many people, you know, t tend to lose their way. Um, but Amanda, she, mm -mm, she didn't. No, she hasn't lost her way. She has kept this this beautiful um this beautiful personality that she has um one out the, the I try not to use the word positive too much. I prefer... I prefer to use the word stubborn and hopeful. Okay, that's Manda's... That's the video to Manda's story. Mm. 
Um. Mm, not that I know of, Laura. Ex except for the, you know, try the um elderberry. Try the elderberry. Your pig is driving you crazy today, Denise. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Did he get into something? Did he eat something that he shouldn't do last night? Come on, internet. Stop fl flashing at me. <gasps> my internet's flashing at me. Yeah, definitely try the elderberry. No, not salt in your coffee. Oh, no. Oh, Denise. Oh, honey, I'm so so. Oh, that, that's, that's, a, oh, my honey. Oh, dear me. Don't drink that coffee, please. <laughs> Get yourself another one. Sit yourself down. And we'll start and we'll do our stretches. There's yeah, something is wrong today. Maybe go take a nap and start over again. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the universe just doesn't align for us from the minute we wake up. Um, they're the days that we have to go on autopilot and just keep keep going just just one foot in front of the other you know <laughs> try not to look around that corner just keep going straight <laughs> and somehow you'll make it through the day denise i promise you will <laughs> you might have to make several more cups of coffee but you will make it you will make it Oh gosh, come on, very bad connection. <laughs> no, no, don't drink it, Denise. Please don't drink it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes, I I think I think you seem to be the similar nature as, as as the rest of us, Denise. You know, we have that initial, oh no, what did I do? And that stunned like Oh, why did I just say like? You, you know like? You know like what I mean like? You know like? Oh, I hate that when people talk like that. Um, and get that, that stunned. What did I just do? And then you just start laughing because you just have to laugh. You just have to laugh. I always laugh at myself. I had a boss that she said to me, she said, I can always tell. When you've got yourself into trouble, when you've done something wrong, because you give yourself away, because you start laughing for no, for no reason. What well, what seems to other people no reason whatsoever, but um, I, it's just I'm finding what I did so silly that I I end up laughing. So, but I can't help it. I was made that way. So, we're missing a few people this morning. Where are the girls? We're missing the girls this morning. I hope they're doing well. <clears throat> well, Denise, you have made a very good point there. Don't put salt and sugar in two exact same boxes. You know, in two boxes that look alike. Mm -mm -mm. I, I must admit, I've done things like that in the past because I've got a set of something that looks lovely. It looks beautiful while it's up there on the, the counter. And then things have got mixed up. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that myself a 
And you know, I'm, I'm so glad I'm talking about not having things in the same box. I mean, this wasn't in the same box. They were in two, two different containers that, you know, they didn't, containers didn't look alike. But I couldn't, I didn't write on the container what was in it. I made two different types of curry powder. I ended up having to go back and watch a video. <laughs> so I knew which which curry I powder I put in which pot, which cut, which... Stop again and start, you. So I, I had to watch a video back so that I could tell which curry, flavour curry, was in which container. <laughs> so my husband said, what are you doing watching yourself? And I said, I'm not watching myself. I'm watching which container I put the curry in because <laughs> they're two different flavors and it's um you can, if, if you intend to make you know one type of curry it really doesn't work if you're using the wrong flavored curry a lot of people think curry tastes the same but it doesn't so but um yeah these videos have come in handy several times for things like that. What did I do? Oh, let me watch the video back. I was running a video when I did that. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to start. We're running a little behind today. So, we're going to start with our arms out to the sides and hold. All right, KK. Drive carefully, honey. We'll we'll be we'll keep you company all the way. We'll keep you company all the way. Yes, there are different flavors, Laura, and 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 different strengths. You know, there are sweeter type curries. There are, um, you know, more more bitter curries. There are, uh, spicier curries. Um. And there are different curries for, you know, the different um, meats and, and vegetables and stuff. Oh, your pig's eat, now eating the wallpaper. Oh, your little pig is a little monkey. Ah, ah, there's a monkey on your pig's back, I think. Yes, curry is very good. It's, um, it has a lot of anti-inflammatory flav uh, flavors. Oh, has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties to it. So it really is good. And actually, a lot of the um, spices that you use in it uh, um, aid digestion. That's that's probably why there are some people that are affected the next day, if you know what I mean. Huh? Old Mucka is probably one of those that's affected the next day after eating curry. And get a warm bottom. Okay, we're going to hold our arms out to the side. Shoulder height. And then you're going to stretch your legs, point your toes, tighten your muscles in your legs from your gluteus maximus all the way down to your tippy toes and hold. And again, if anybody is out there watching and you think you're coming for some very serious pain and gain exercises, we are not that kind of exercise people in here. These are gentle exercises to help keep us supple, help <laughs> bones are cracking, <laughs> Denise, <laughs> to help keep our muscles supple, our range of motion, stop our tendons, good morning kitty, <laughs> stop our, our tendons from seizing up and hopefully help us to uh, Regain a little bit of strength that we might have lost. And also regain regain some strength, range of motion. I know I have. Okay, now lie down. No, no, don't rub on that. Lie down. Good boy. Okay, and again, arms out by your sides. Shoulder width. <laughs> Stop. Bring them up to your shoulder. Shoulder height. <laughs> point straighten your legs out point your toes tense your muscles from your tippy toes all the way to your gluteus maximus and hold now if you can't bring your arms up shoulder height just bring them up as high as you can um, I don't want you straining 
and don't bounce. I know there used to be that thing a long time ago, and if you need to, shake, shake, shake it out. There used to be that thing a long time ago that, you know, there was that little bounce, bounce, bounce. Don't do that no more. <laughs> the kitty wants to keep and save me from injuries. <laughs> That's true. It's like, what you doing, Mom? That's not how you stretch. Let me show you how you stretch. We're not doing yoga this morning. But we will be doing some yoga at some point. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, and again, we're going to hold our arms out to the side, shoulder height, stretch our legs, point our toes, squeeze that gluteus maximus, give it a surprise. Come on, hello baby. Yes, I like your cheek. Yes, I do like your cheek. Thank you. You're going to snuggle down? No, the people don't want to see your bottom. Okay. And relax. No, 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 no. Don't rub your... Don't, don't rub on the... Sh no, are you... He says, I don't want to snuggle, Mommy, not in front of the people. <laughs> I'm a big boy now. Good morning. Good afternoon, Scotty. It's so good to see you. I have a nice cup of tea here. I really do. And you're just in time, Scotty, because we've just started our exercises. Okay, this next one, you're going to put your arms high up. <laughs> Cranks the intestinal activity. <laughs> oh, Denise. <laughs> That's old mucker that we can hear. <laughs> we'll blame it on old mucker. <laughs> yeah, maybe yoga, honey. Maybe yoga. <laughs> okay, arms up. Put them on either. Bring them as high as you can. Up the size. Good morning, lipstick. Good morning. Bring your arms up as close to you can to your head. <laughs> Reach for the sky. You're going to stretch your legs and then you're going to turn your feet so you're bringing your feet towards your body. And again, you're going to tighten your gluteus maximus and you tighten your muscles all the way down to your tippy tippy toes. And hold. <laughs> and then relax. <laughs> And if you need to, give it a little shake, 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 shake to shake it on out. <laughs> Thank you so much, lipstick. It is wonderful. Yes, I think you did swallow a clown today, Denise. It's so good to see you so active. <laughs> Your sense of humor is shining through just beautifully, Denise. <laughs> Thank you so much, lipstick. <laughs> I'm shaking it, girl. I'm shaking it. Shake. Oh, <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> I can't do that because it wibbles too much. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't wibble. It goes flap, flap, flap. You know, it's, it's lost a bit of muscle tone. If I day say me so myself. Okay, and again, arms out to the side. Bring them slowly up. So the your hands are above your head or as near above your head as possible. Towards your ears, either side of your head. Stretch. Strength is to stretch your legs and bring your feet, your toes up towards your body. Press down, stretch through those heels. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Love you too, lipstick. Love you too, honey. And relax. <laughs> it's a good day today. The sun, it looks like it's really starting to shine. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's just daybreak is really coming up now. <laughs> oh. 
You should hear his yells when you're walking on a st strong gale. <laughs> when you're walking in a strong gale, it sounds like <laughs> flat caught in the wind. Oh my flag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that is too funny. Okay, and we're going to do the last one of this set. So bring your arms out to your sides. Slowly bring them up as close and as high as you can to your head. So it's on either side. You've got your arms either side of your ears pointing to the ceiling or the sky. Straighten your legs. Stretch. Push down through your heels and bring your toes up towards your body. And tighten. Oh no, somebody, your wife put your favorite boxes in the bin, your favorite ones, does that mean they're rather holy? <laughs> oh my God, and shake, 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 shake. Denise, yours sounds like someone is clapping their hands. <laughs> That's so funny. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, honey. It's so good to see you. We're talking about lost muscle tone right now. And Scotty says that his belly sounds like somebody clapping when he jumps up. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that's probably a good reason. If you've got a big hole in the back of your favorite boxes, it's probably a good reason why she threw them out. It's not really going to hold much in there, you know. It's going to be a bit, uh, a bit drafty, I would think. Okay, this next one, you hold your arms out in front of your shoulder height. And then you're just going to slowly bring them up to each side of your ears. It's a slightly different movement from the other one that we had, range of motion. Good morning, my lady. It's so good to see you. How are you doing? This time you're going to put your toe feet, you're going to pull them out penguin style. So here we go. Arms out in front, and bring them up. So you're pointing to the sky. Arms each side of your ears. Point you, stretch down through the heels and then turn your feet out, penguin style. And Denise will soon have a pig, six pack, a pig sack. Oh my god, a six pack from laughing. That is so true. That happens in here. That happens in here, Denise. <laughs> and relax <laughs> only a six pack you need <laughs> Denise in the six packs in the fridge there you go old mucka stretch <laughs> oh my gosh Okay, again, arms out in front, and you're going to slowly bring them up to each side of your ear. Stretch down through your heels, press those legs, tighten those muscles, and turn your feet out, penguin style. And stretch. <laughs> And then relax. Oh my goodness, my lady, you just got back from the dentist. I have yet to go, and I'm dreading it. I'm absolutely dreading it. Um, the medication that I've been on for all these years has really destroyed my teeth. <laughs> yeah, she'd be no longer white. Okay, arms out in front. This is the last set. So let's make it count, sort of. 
and we're going to reach for the sky and bring them up slowly each side of your ears if you can't bring them that far bring them as far as you can push down through your heels and turn your feet out penguin style and stretch yes yeah, so do I Denise that's why I always took very good care of my teeth but um, unfortunately and then relax unfortunately all the medication that I've been on has, has destroyed the enamel on my teeth and there's this there's not much you can do once the enamel stro uh, destroyed I've had teeth actually break vertically um, so and that's one thing I need to get sorted out um, before I, I apply to another transplant um, clinic is is get my uh, get my teeth in order <laughs> if the boys weren't hanging free why were your old favorite undies thrown out Oh my gosh, yes, well, that's what we do. That's what we do, old mucker. If it's got a hole in it in the wrong place, out it goes. <laughs> my lady's going to have a new teeth put on a chain so she doesn't lose them. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Just a minute while I get my chain out. Oh, your teeth are going through the same thing, Laura. Yeah, unfortunately, your medication can be very destructive to the enamel on your teeth. People, a lot of people don't realize that. Now that's not right, old mucker. And putting a coat like that, that the, you know that's precious. I, I don't care what kind of a a, a condition it in. It's not right. I, I wouldn't do that. If the coat was your dad, I would not do that. Mm -mm -mm. And Denise says one time her dentist pulled a nerve. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that, oh man, Denise, my, oh, my heart goes out to you. Uh, just thinking about it makes me want to wee. Ouch. <laughs> mm. No, I wouldn't forget. I, I, that, that's, uh, that's something I would never do, old mucker. I mean, I might throw your favorite pair of uh, boxes out because they've got holes in them, but I wouldn't do something like that to a coat you know that that's that's special to you oh I, I wouldn't uh, i would probably you know me myself i would buy one of those um um not food saver because it's not a food june um kind of a similar type of thing it's like a ziploc bag just to keep just to protect it i mean that's what i would do Laura, you have no molars left and your other teeth are getting worse. They're just crumbling. I, I'm, I'm with you right there, Laura. Uh, my teeth are crumbling too. I was going to make some toffee the other day and I decided I best not because I'd probably be, take one bite and my teeth would be stuck in the toffee and that would be it. <laughs> I'd be going to the dentist saying, do you think you can do something with these? And handing them toffee with teeth stuck in them. <laughs> my lady says I'm sure my last pair I lost was on eBay. <laughs> I gather you're spending a lot of time on eBay. Ah, oh, my lady. <laughs> Actually, people will buy anything on eBay. <laughs> oh, the old wooden toolboxes. Yeah, I, I had an old wooden toolbox go missing too, old mucker, so... 
I mean, I, I can, oh my gosh. I don't understand why, why women or even husbands sometimes do that to their wives too. I mean, I've, I've had to threaten my husband with his, um, the things that he really likes. I've told him that if he keeps throwing my stuff out, I'll be throwing his stuff out and he, he won't like it. Because neither of us have much left after we had the burglary, the break-ins and the burglaries. We don't have much left, so. His electric piano would disappear rather quickly if he does that to my stuff anymore. Oh, let's put it that way. Yes. I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm the same way, I'm the same way old my car, I couldn't do it, I would threaten, I might go and hide it, might hide it, and say, you know, I don't know, what, I don't know what you're talking about, never seen, I haven't seen it. But I wouldn't actually throw an after, I wouldn't, no, no. Heck, his old shirts, I didn't throw those out. I, I folded them up and put them away in a in a uh, Tupperware container. Thinking I'd repurpose them, and of course they were repurposed. They got stolen, but never mind. Looks like there's what oh Haha <laughs> there's a bird I wish I could show you there's a bird on the deck going through some leaves. It's so funny. It's flicking the lead the dried leaves all over the place. There must be something crawling around under there. Eesh. Don't like bugs. Oh, so, sometimes we have to let, I, 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 I uh, Sometimes we have to pick our fights. We have to pick our arguments. Um, I know some things hurt and they hurt deeply, but for the sake of peace, sometimes it's best to say your peace and then and then let it go, let it be. I think one of the hardest thing about things about arguing these days is we we have a tendency to keep bringing things up. Some things we just can't resolve, so it's um Yeah, I, I don't understand, um, Omar, I don't understand why, you know, people, especially when it's somebody that's close to you, would take something that um, is, is of high sentimental value because it belonged to a parent and then throw it out. I, I, it doesn't matter what the article is. And I, you know, I'm I'm sorry that happened, honey. I really am. I mean, it's not it's not right. It 
It is hurtful. It is very hurtful when that happens. Good morning. I see we have seven people out there this morning. Everybody's gone quiet. We've done one set of exercises. We might just get another set in before I, uh, before we leave and before we say goodbye. Now, old mucker, are you going to go get yourself a cup of tea, honey? Going to go put the kettle on? You just had one go for you, old mucker. Good, honey. I'm so pleased. Because you don't get enough. Well, of course you did, because you're that kind of a person. Of course you made your wife one. You don't get enough breaks in the day. Fireman! <laughs> fireman says it needs the strong, she needs the, she needs the strong stuff. Well, you know what, Fireman? Tea has just as much, if not more, caffeine in it than, than coffee does. It's just that coffee has that stronger bite to it. <clears throat> Good morning, honey. I hope you're having a good day. The sun is starting to come up here. It's looking beautiful outside. Yes, Scotty, old mucker is a good soul. Yes, daybreak is starting to come now. Well, actually, day it's broken. It's just that the sun is not out. It's very overcast right now. But that's okay, because I think it's going to burn off and be nice and bright this afternoon. Says she, hopefully. Oh. So what's everybody going to be doing today? What are you all going to be doing over in the UK? Oh, that is so sweet! Thank you, Shadow. That is so cool. Oh, New York, that's right, that's right. Oh my gosh. So, have you had... Oi. Oh, I'll have to let that go. Have you had much, much snow? Whereabouts in New York are you, you firemen? Are you, you central? I mean, are you where they've had the... The snow. Yes, I can see you've been drawing. Ah, it's nice. I like it. Thank you. We've been luck at Queens, Brooklyn. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. We've been lucky here in Kansas. We have not had that much snow so far. Laura, if it gets that bad, you need to go to the hospital, honey. You don't don't wait for a doctor's appointment. Go to the hospital. Scotty's going to look for a new car. Wow, what kind of car are you looking for, Scotty? And Denise is going to be, she's going to be the house goddess doing some grocery shopping and some household chores. Good for you, girl. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. Your wife loves the snow. Oh, my gosh. Tyron. Oh, no. Now, I will admit I used to like playing out in the snow, but I can't now. <laughs> yeah, an old mucker is going to the doctors in the morning. He's going to be told to cough. <laughs> oh, 
and it's about time you're getting them looked at and at least they're getting played with. Oh, mucker. <sighs> and lady, you're going to have a lazy day and watch the That's good. That's okay. It's, it's, it's good to have a lazy day every once in a while, every afternoon, every day, all day. Depends, depends, depends. Scotty, your balls have retired. Okay. Uh, Ford C Max. Well, that's a nice car, I think. Oh, that's okay, Fireman. We're just waking up here ourselves. Well, actually, those in the UK are a little bit further ahead than us. It's uh, they're five, six hours ahead of us, so they're a little bit further on in their day. Oh, wow, I'm sorry to hear that, Laura. Well, the, the, y, y, y. three from a pendant. Wow. Yes, acid reflux can really burn, can can really severely damage your esophagus badly. TJ! Good morning, sweetie! TJ is in the house! Good morning, it's so good to see you! Um, cough medicine, Laura. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Fiber. There goes the channel. <laughs> well, we've done our stretching exercises this morning, although we only did one set. But at least we did do some stretching this morning. Yesterday we did a bit better. We did two sets. But that's okay. We're not going to have days like that. Tessie! Good morning, honey. Oh, it's so good to see you. Yes, I'm so happy about the pressure counter too, Tessie. I was I was going to use it yesterday, but we decided we're going to go food shopping at the end of the week. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. So I'm going to get some recipes together. Um, he's going to do his spaghetti. Um... So that, like, yeah, I was crying too. I was crying too, Tessie. I was crying too. I was so happy. And it's all clean. I washed it. I washed it so it's all ready to go. It's all ready to go. I'm so excited. I really am. Um, I did see a, a, a four quart one. I think it was just a pressure cooker, not a pressure counter. In, 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 um, in, in the thrift store, but it had didn't have the weights to it it didn't have the seal and it didn't have something else um the, the the valve the rubber valve was missing and i stood there for ages debating whether i should get it or not and i decided against it and then there was the where there was a wherever um low pressure chicken fryer which could be used as a, um, yeah, yeah. That's why I decided against it, Tessie. Because I thought, if I know in my luck, I'll get it home and I won't be able to get any of the pieces to it. And it'll, the pieces will be expensive anyway. Plus, it was only a small one, you know. And I, I really wanted something that I could use, do my quart jars with. So, now I'm really excited, so... You know, when hubby does his spaghetti now, 
We're not going to be eating spaghetti for lunch and dinner all week long. Because <laughs> we only have we only have a small freezer and the, the the type that's at the top of the fridge, so we really can't keep that much in the freezer. Well, old Maka, we're, we're, it's, it's going to be benign. It's going to be nothing to worry about. Yes, that's just what I'm looking forward to. And I want to, I want to be able to make things that I can, like, like when I make soup. Um, you know, I, so far I've been limiting to two quarts of soup. Um, and then of course, you know, I've been eating it from the soup the whole time, you know, all week. Whereas it wouldn't be nice. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I don't cook with salt. I don't use salt in anything. And, and so far, anything that I've made... My husband eats and, and and his son is eating when he's come over and none of them add salt to the food. Yes, homemade soup, fireman. Um, if it's made right, it tastes nice. My, my, my husband couldn't stand homemade soup. So I renamed it. I didn't call it, ho I didn't call it soup. I, call, I can't forget what I, I can't remember. Bisque is what I called it. And... He, he he he's now in love with he loves homemade soup um you've just got to use the right things to flavor it properly so i i know you'll get there you'll get there laura and we'll we'll get something figured out for you honey um <laughs> Chicken, yee! You see, you can make your own chicken stock. Use, use the um. Thank you, Tessie. Thank you. Use, use your um. You know, if you, if you get a a chicken, you can actually. Well, it, it doesn't have to take forever to do it. It all depends on what you're canning. Yeah, you can make your own chicken stock now. Well, that's good. I mean, from the turkey, the turkey that I can't remember. Well, the turkey, we had a 21 pound turkey at Christmas. We just recently finished the last of it off. Um, and I forgot to do videos of of you know the 101 things you can do with with um, leftover turkey but I, I put the um, I, I cooked the carcass and oh my gosh there was very little fat that came off the top of it and there was like I would say three inches of jelly I mean it's just ooh, it, it's good stuff it really is good stuff so I've got those in little containers in, in the freezer. So I can, you know, I've got plenty to make stock with for the rest of the year, I think. And you can move vegetable stock too. You can, you can cook, um, when you cook vegetables, save the water. And, and that's vegetable stock. Yeah, it sticks to your ribs. It sure does, Scotty. It sure does. You can a lot of potatoes, 25 pounds at a time. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, good. All right, then. All right, Tessie. Tell the chickens that I said good morning. Yes, total comfort food. Well, you see, the, the other thing, too, is I'm trying to... Ah, oh, I love you, Tessie. Um, the thing is, I'm trying to think ahead. Um, 
because I want to be able to make sure that there is, you know, good stuff in to eat on the days of where we we either don't feel like cooking, where I'm not well, um, if I end up in the hospital, you know, if I get a transplant, um, you know, I'm trying to think ahead of time. Half acre, yes. Yes, I do like half acre. I do like half acre very much, yes. I enjoy a half acre. That, that's so true, fireman. You can brown, you know, can, can, can potatoes, you can brown them off real good. And, and, and a lot of it is really quick in a pinch. It really is. Yes. Yes, Half Acre does do a lot of canning. Tessie does a lot of canning too. She uses a lot of, um, um, you know, Amish recipes as well. Oh, fireman. <laughs> well, I'll certainly be doing, um, I'm trying to, I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to edit. I was trying to make plantain chips last night. Um... I've been using coconut oil lately now. Coconut oil. Oh, fireman. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, honey. I thought I was subscribed to you. I am now. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. My husband likes plantain chips. So we decided we would try. Okay, Laura. All right, sweetie. You lie down and relax. Take it easy, honey. Keep in touch. Let me know how things go. I love you too, baby. Take care. Hot tea. See if you can get some breathe easy tea, Laura. Yeah, so my, my husband um, likes plantain chips, but they're expensive. They're like $2.50 to $3.99 a bag. So, I've been using coconut oil lately. Now, the only thing is, with coconut oil, it's, it's quite volatile and it's easily combustible. So, I have to be real careful with it. Okay, so if, 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 um, if everybody would like to support each other, that would be really nice. Especially the way things are. Um, if you like to go on motorbike rides or just to see Cornwall over in the UK. If you could visit um, Old Muckers channel. And give him a support. They're actually quite nice videos. It's quite a fun ride. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh my goodness! Does that customer know that they are behind on their bills? Oh, Mucka.
because that sure will get a a, a website to <laughs> suspended <laughs> that sure will <laughs> oh my gosh now I did have when I had my ceramic studio I did have there was somebody working with me and she was supposed to be, you know, writing out the checks. She was supposed to deal with that side of things. I had to actually keep checking on it to make sure. And it's like, you know, I, I, <laughs> that's your department. I'm not, I shouldn't have to do this every day. I shouldn't have to constantly be on top of you to make sure things are done. I shouldn't have to go through everything. Maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, but I shouldn't have to keep doing this over and over again when <laughs> it's your job, your job description. I mean, I had no business being in the ceramic business anyway because, you know, I, I really wasn't... Um, Your system is fully automatic and it generates all of the invoices. Ah, and automatically suspends if they're not paid. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, old mucker. Now, my look, if I put something into place like that, I, I, would, I would probably end up with it a total mess. It would be spitting out cards here and spitting out reams of paper there and shutting everybody down and yeah so okay you still up for some stretching this morning yeah yours would do the same scully <laughs> Okay, we're going to do one set of each for this last round. So, arms out to your side. And you can do this sitting down, lying down, standing up. Sitting as well. Arms out to your side, shoulder height. If you can't bring them shoulder height, bring them as high as you can towards your shoulders. And just hold them there. That in itself is quite taxing on the muscles. With your legs, stretch your legs, tense your muscles, and point your toes. Give your gluteus maximus a squeeze. Give it a surprise. Hold. And then relax. And if you need to, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it, shake, 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 shake. And then the next one we're going to do is you're going to pull your arms out to shoulder height and then raise them up. Turn your palms in. Raise your arms as far close as you can to the sides of your head. And with your feet, you're going to push down through your heels and then turn your toes up towards your body. And I really recommend if you're going to do these, sit. <laughs> Don't try and do them standing. <laughs> it won't be that easy. <laughs> Hello, here is your muscle. Please do that. <laughs> oh, Denise. <laughs> and then relax. <laughs> yep, squeeze. <laughs> And then this next one, you're going to hold your arms out in front of you, shoulder height, or as close as you can to shoulder height. You're going to raise your arms in an arc. So they are going to be on either side of your head. Bring them as high as you can. And this time, you're going to push down through your heels and then turn your feet out penguin style. And then hold. Hold. <laughs> and if you're doing this right, 
you'll be feeling them in many muscle mass places. And then relax. Oh. Next week, we're going to be doing other types of exercises. You just heard a big pop. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> yes, yeah, sometimes on a morning when I first get up and I start moving, it's like snap, crackle and pop and oh, my goodness. fire but that was just that was just old mucka being a bit windy <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> all right denise yes i keep having the same trouble with mine too take care honey Oh my gosh, yes, my Wi-Fi is flash keeps flashing at me as well. A very bad connection, very bad connection, very bad. It's like, would you stop already? I know. <laughs> oh, you know when you're old, when you, you know you're old. Fireman says, you know you're old. When you fart and your back pops. <laughs> oh my gosh. We do laugh about the silliest of things in here, but that's good. Because laughter is the best part of medicine, the best medicine. It is very good for us, keeps us going. Oh, Scotty, I thought you were going to read that out loud. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, dear me. You guys. Okay, I'm going to call it the morning. I'm going to say good morning. <laughs> No, Scotty, I'm not reading it out loud. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, not doing it, honey. Not doing it. <laughs> not doing it, babe. You can write it in the comments when the video goes up. <laughs> it's up to you, but I'm not. I'm not saying it. But I'm going to say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in the world today. Um, remember, keep your stretches throughout the day. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you for stopping in, fireman. It's good to see you, honey. Um, no, no. <laughs> no, Scotty, don't do that. <laughs> You can stretch even if you're just reaching up for a, a, a teacup or if you're just bending down to to pick something up. You can always find a stretch in there somewhere. I should be back tomorrow, Scotty. Uh, um, so I want to take care, everybody. Remember, keep smiling. And one step at a time, one breath at a time, we, I, can do this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I love you all. Thank you for stopping in. Bye. Take care. Remember to hide the things you love. That is so true.